Today's youth are exposed less to corporal punishment, but not everywhere. People are still constantly being harassed by it. Individuals with aggressive and impulsive behaviors are now being linked to the aftermath effects of corporal punishment. If you're going to misbehave, you're going to get what I got when I was a child. No, Mom, stop! Mom, please stop! I only have this one Gatorade. Do you want to split it? You can't do that, or I could just have it. Witnessing corporal punishment firsthand has made the child come accustomed to it, letting himself fall into doing the same that their parents did to them. Corporal punishment doesn't just limit itself to one long-term effect. There are several more, another being risky social behavior. When the individual has grown up, they can put themselves into a life where crime can be a major role to cope with their behavior. Who do you think you are, running around creating all this trouble for fun? Do you think it's a joke? Yeah, whatever you say. I'm sick and tired to keep doing me. Screw this. Later that evening, the teen went out into town to look for a well-known friend. Hey, Joe. I'm looking to join into your gang. I'm sick and tired of my family. Okay. But first, you have to earn it. Go break into a neighborhood home. Take anything of value. That'll show us that you're willing to do anything for your new family. Children growing up around corporal punishment have a tendency to want to misbehave more often than usual. A survey was taken from at-risk kids and it came to a whopping nine-tenths that turned out to have tendencies of joining an organized gang. Random acts of violence can be anything from randomly hitting someone to using verbal statements to make someone feel horrible about his or herself. Unfortunately, this is another after-effect of corporal punishment. Come on, let's go. We're gonna be late. Uh, I don't really feel like going to the cottage this weekend. We always go there. Can't we do something else for a change? You know what? I like the cottage, okay? It's my happy place. And, look, I bought a cottage because I want to use it. That, and we need to take care of it too. It's not one of these once in a while contributions. Upkeep matters too, you know, as well as downtime. Well, I never signed up for this cottage life. It takes up a lot of our time. I like the urban life more. Think about you, what you would have if you sold it. Selling is not, nor will it ever be, an option, okay? Well, maybe you should revisit it, because I can do whatever I feel like. The wife brought the argument to a new level by adding physicality. She did not want to acknowledge fairness in the argument, and this was most likely brought on due to punishment as a child. The punishment she is used to is the punishment she will try and produce herself. This is also known as a random act of violence. In a given year, over 342,038 children are paddled or spanked. This is multiple behaviors that will be altered and lifestyles changed. Corporal punishment should not be brought back.